Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about uh, seams and stitching. Okay, something like this. So I start with a new scene, I delete everything, and I create a new test object, a sphere. This is a wireframe at the moment, and I validate this sphere. So for the stitches, we need a path. And for this, we press add and add a curve repeater. So at the moment, the sphere is inside the curve repeater. Put it outside the curve repeater. And then select the curve repeater and deselect the gizmo function. So then it looks like this. In the pop-up menu, you can use the snapping, use snapping function, change the count to one and turn off the spline. And now place your path on your object. You want to follow the stitches, something like this. Okay. And it looks like this. So now we need a stitch. Press add and here in the in this menu when your gizmo is active you can use this option and this option. Select it. So now when you press box, add a box, the box is inserted on the gizmo position. Okay, and this box, turn it uh, or put it out of the curve repeater, so that it's not inside the curve repeater. And then you can change here the size, uh, scale it, and change your topology, your box topology. We only need here a x division of zero and a y division of two. And a post subdivision of one or two. So, and now we can Rotate our small stitch a little bit, scale it and rotate it a little bit like this. And now put this box back in the curve repeater. So it looks like this. And when you select now the curve repeater, You see, and you change the count of the curve repeater. You can change the, the box again a little bit in the orientation, like this. Make it a little bit smaller. Back to the curve repeater and change your count. And when you need more snapping points, to see your stitches better. So, and we can change the count. Back to the, the stitch. And here you can, with the gizmo, you can align the stitch a little bit nicer or scale it. Like you want. So when you edit something with a stitch, put it out of the curve repeater. Put it out. And now if you want two stitches, clone your stitch like this. 
select both and join it and put it back in the curve repeater. Now, now this works because when you do it inside the curve repeater, uh, you get problems. So we can now go back and for example, we need a, such a cross stitch, clone the object, do it like this, select both, join it and bring it back in the curve repeater. So, so you can change the, the stitches. Okay, so I show you only one thing here, um, what's possible with version 177, the upcoming update. When you select here um, the tube and you create a tube, a normal tube, so something like this. I change the topology. So something like this. And I create here such a seam, I think is the name for it. Um, so when you now clone this tube, hide one, select the sphere and use the voxel remesh, so you get such a, a path here on the, or the, such a seam and the tube is a copy here. And in the tube settings here, there's an option. This is new. Here you can um, extract a curve repeater out of your tube. So when I press now curve repeater, it creates a, a new repeater. And here you see the curve. And when you select here now the gizmo and press add, add a box, put this box out of the repeater, change the size and the topology. So here only 0 and division 2 here in Y division, post subdivision 1 or 2. Rotate your object here in the right direction. Scale it a little bit. So it looks like this. And I think now it's fine. And this box put back in the curve repeater of the tube and change your count. Then the object follows the tube. So back to the, the box. You can adjust the position a little bit. And it's important, do not move your box from the position of the curve repeater. Okay. And as I said, if you want to adjust something, put it out of the repeater. Um, you can clone it. And it's also possible if you select the unvalidated objects, you create, um, create a, a group and put this group in the repeater. Then it works also like this. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.